Next up, several countries in Europe have already adopted a so-called Nutri-Score. It's a food ranking system that's displayed on the packaging aimed at helping people choose healthier food. Now, the system essentially gives food and drink items a score from A to E. A is the most healthy and E is the least. It's based on their key ingredients such as sugar, salt, and fiber. But the algorithm to come up with this grade has recently changed to better reflect the nutritional facts. And here to discuss uh, this with us is Julia Seeger from our Health and Tech Desk. Hello there, how are you? Uh, so first of all, the Nutri-Score, I mean, we, I see it every time I'm at the supermarket here in France. It's, it's definitely something that shoppers look at. And do we trust it, though, when we see that Nutri-Score? Well, that's actually a very good question. 64% of French people actually choose one product over another depending on that Nutri-Score. And, of course, it has a huge impact on product sales. Uh, now, do we... Do we actually trust it? Most people, of course, trust it, but we do, do we actually understand what is behind that letter? Uh, so to understand that, you have to go back to the genesis of the project. In 2014, the government is looking to combat uh, obesity am uh, among young people, and they're going to draw inspiration from a program that exists in the UK, and they're going to create this grade, this color-coded uh, grade that is to be displayed this time on the packaging. Uh, and at the time, they're going to think that they can be ba they can uh, use the uh, the nutritional facts that already exist on the packaging. And it's quite easy because they don't have to ask anything from manufacturers. The data is already there. And so the, the calculation method they're going to come up with is actually quite basic. They're going to take into account, on one hand, the amount of nutrients considered as healthy, so meaning fiber, protein, fruits. And on the other, in that calculation, uh, they're going to uh, do a uh, look at, at everything that's considered as bad for your health, so energy, saturated fats, uh, but also uh, salt and sugar, and they're going to average that and score it. Now, the problem, of course, is that the nutritional facts that look quite complicated for us are actually quite basic. So the algorithm doesn't pick up, doesn't distinguish between what we call uh, added uh, sugars, sweeteners, and natural uh, sugar that is in a product. It's also going to neglect, ne uh, neglect uh, essential nutrients like essential fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals. So pretty much what this means is that it doesn't actually uh, distinguish distinguish what we call processed foods, which is a huge issue. And of course, when there's any sort of system for getting a grade, people will find a way to game the, <laughs> the system. That's true. Um, how have manufacturers responded to this Nutri-Score? Well, have... Many manuf manufacturers have changed their recipes and reduced sugar and salt, but others, of course, have found a way around it. And because the algorithm doesn't pick up on the processed foods, they've been tweaking it, adding dietary fibers, additives. Uh, and of course, it's only the big agri-food companies that can do that because they have the money for the research, but not, not small producers. But so the new Nutri-Score is going to try to rectify this? Yeah, it's going to be tougher on sugar, on salt, but also on sweeteners, and it's going to reward, if you will, products that are rich in iron and calcium. Now, some brands have already dropped the label because it's not mandatory, such as, uh, and I'm sure because you live in France, you know this brand, the organic brand Bior, and it's an organic brand. So this is uh, making quite a ruckus here in France because they decided to drop it two months before the beginning of the year so that people wouldn't see the drop in the grades. Mm, I see. Uh, now, thank you so much. We've seen uh, this also, though, in other countries, not just we're, we're, we're seeing it. We're going to be seeing it uh, shortly in Canada. They're going to roll out a label. Uh, and we're seeing it in Chile as well, in Peru. Uh, but this time, they're actually trying to have a little bit more information. As you can see here, they're giving you, they're telling you it's not just a grade and not just A, B, C. They're telling you it's high in uh, in fat, sugars, or, or sodium. So they're going a little bit more uh, in depth so that people have a little bit more information about what the letter actually means. All right. News we can all use at the grocery store. Julia Segar, our health Thank reporter. You. Thank you so much.